something about you know looters working under the guise of protests mm-hmm. um had stolen a bunch of stuff from various apple stores the other thing is interesting on nine to five mac if you look at the ad or the the picture it says the de- the message on the device is please return to apple walnut street mm-hmm. and the store kind of looks like our apple walnut street store i'm guessing that's a different it does and i don't think we did not we did not have looting in that neighborhood of pittsburgh i know that yes um but the interesting thing is um most of the devices that are for sale are under lock and key in the back of the store Mm -hmm. um so they were obviously taking the devices off the tables um and as soon as the devices become out of range from the store's wi-fi they go into a lost and stolen mode <laughs> and, and are, are bricks, um, which I thought was even more interesting. I knew they had some stuff that allowed them to kind of like rebuild the device from scratch with a couple clicks, mm-hmm. but this, this is even more interesting to me. Um, the other thing they do when those go into that mode is the app that runs on those devices. That's the, uh, the pricing app. If you've noticed, like if you walk up and you're looking, like there's an iPad there, and when you look at the the MacBook or whatever, whatever device that has the price of the device on it, the pricing app also acts as a tracking app for stolen demo models and actually has the camera and location permissions enabled by default. So pretty much the devices stolen are just pretty much big or small, not very useful homing beacons. <laughs> <laughs> 